What is up everybody, Steve here. I hope you are doing well. I wanna jump into this Fortune article because it is very, very interesting pertaining to Moody's, the credit rating agency, and what they're saying, which I'm kinda of shocked by because Moody's in the last real estate crash, they were doing some scandalous things and got sued because of it. So let's dive into this. It goes on to say, these 183 housing markets could soon see home prices fall 20%, Moody's says. And if you guys take a look at this map, the dark, dark purple here is 25%. You can see a lot of Florida and Texas. Back in May, Moody's Analytics Chief Economist Mark Zandi came to Fortune saying the US housing market was entering into a housing correction. Through the summer, Zandi said US housing activity would plummet. As it did, Zandi said home prices in bubbly markets like Phoenix and Boise would begin falling. By the way, I'm going to have a uh, real estate agent in the uh, Boise, Idaho area come on our channel so we can talk more about details of what's going on in that hot housing market and what other housing markets could anticipate based on what's going on in Boise. So be sure you guys subscribe if you're not a subscriber and you guys wanna watch what's going on in that area. At the time, Zandi's prediction was dismissed by many in the real estate industry. If a recession hits, Moody's Analytics now predicts US house prices will fall between negative five to negative 10%. That's up from June when Zandi told Fortune that a recession would see US house prices fall by less than 5%. Obviously, the tune is changing. Not all mainstream media are on board with this, but obviously people who are being more transparent and honest are starting to change their tune because they see what's going on with housing. Every quarter, Moody's Analytics assesses whether local economic fundamentals, including local income levels, can support local house prices. That is the biggest issue. I mean, people are not able to, I mean, sometimes in some areas, people are spending up to 60% of their income, even more than that, on their housing, and that is just not sustainable. And a lot of people I foresee are gonna be in trouble because of that. At the latest reading, Moody's Analytics finds 183 of the nation's 413 largest regional housing markets are overvalued by more than 25%. That includes markets like Boise, overvalued by 72%, Charlotte, overvalued by 66%, and Austin, overvalued by 61%. And I'm gonna link this for you guys as well so you guys can play around with this mapping situation here, but you can literally see in terms of the overvaluing even back in the last real estate recession, what areas were the most out overvalued. I mean, look at um, California here back in 2005, overvalued by 107%. And we got Dalton, Georgia up here. We got Boise City, Idaho, 72%. Moody's Analytics isn't alone. There's a growing chorus of research firms that are forecasting home prices will soon fall nationally. This includes John Burns Real Estate Consulting, by the way, I follow those guys and they have some excellent reports. They're very expensive to get your hands on as well. Uh, Capital Economics, uh, Pantheon Macroeconomics, Zellman and & Associates, and Zonda. Over the coming years, the Mortgage Bankers Associations, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, CoreLogic, and Zillow all predict a low single digit rise in home prices. Of course they do, because let's face it, and I've been saying this on this channel for a bit and even several months back talking about housing cheerleaders, there's a lot of vested interest by a lot of different entities like National Association of Realtors, Zillow, um, Redfin, there, there's a lot of companies out there that never want to see the housing market just deflate because it does impact them, it doesn't impact their uh, profitability. And unfortunately, if they can sway the narrative, they will do so. Be sure you guys hit the bell notification because when that video hits on that agent in Boise, I want you guys to really understand what is going on in that market because that is the first to be the hardest hit. And I think it's gonna be important that all of us understand that other hot markets are probably soon to follow. If it's not happening in your area, it could soon come. So um, anyway, appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you guys on the next video.